my channel. Today we are going to make a new Lego Boost project called the Autonomous Moon Rover. So let's get started.
we assemble the robot, before we link it with Scratch to program it, make sure the Scratch link is on. And I know my Bluetooth is also on. Scratch link. Okay, good. It's in this corner here. Go to your browser and type in scratch dot m i t dot e d u. Okay. So make sure you have an account. If you don't, um, you can create one. And if you do, but you're not logged in, sign in. Press create to create a new project. Okay, now go to the add extension button and click Lego Boost. After that, press start searching and click the button on the Lego Boost Hub. You can see it's searching for it. Sometimes it might fail, but it's okay. It has problems with connection sometimes. So now we need to work on the code. Now I'm going to create a variable called flat, but you will always start with this my variable. If you don't want that name, right click on it and press rename variable. And if and we're going to name it flag. Okay. We want to show flag and let's go to when green flag clicked. Go to variables and get set flag to one. After that, we need a forever loop, but this time instead of putting multiple if statements, we're going to use an if, and we're going to use an if else block. What this block does is, if you know what if does, if one condition is true, it will execute that. The else one, however. If that condition isn't true, that in the if conditional place, it will run all the code that's below the s. Now get the equal operator and let's go graph flag. Two, one. Oh, and remember this you can fit bubbles in bubbles. So it's actually going to be really useful with variables. Now we're going to put set motor direction and instead of this way, we're going to put it that way. The reason why is because the Lego Boost Hub is in a different direction. So in order for it to go forward, you have to put it that way. Now we need to set motor A B though, not just motor A. And let's set motor A B speed. To five percent. Let's just find it. Ah, here it is. Here's motor A B in five percent. Good. Now we need to turn motor A on, which will keep on turning it. Ah, yeah. Sometimes while you're making the code, you get confused with A and A B. Okay. So the reason why we're putting A, B is because we need both the motors to turn for the wheels and motor A and B are connected to the Lego boost hub. Now let's put the basic sensing part we need for the autonomousness, as I like to say. So when to see the brake, we want it to turn off. It's just stuck. And we said, and let's put a teeny tiny weight like maybe 0 0.2 seconds i mean 0 0.2 seconds we're doing this because the color sensor takes some time to sense the blocks and now we need to put set lag to zero now if you're wondering why we're putting this this will execute the else program and it's not equal to one anymore it's equal to zero and there's no zero command so we'll execute whatever is in S. Now let's work on the S part. Okay, so now we need to get the turn motor C for one rotations. 
motors, not B, C. And now we need to. Motor C is the interactive motor which we are using in this project to steer the rover. Now we need to turn motor C on. And after that, send motor A B direction this way. Now the reason why we're putting it this way is because it would be the opposite of forward in this project. And let's say turn motor A B for 2.5 rotations. Then we turn that to A B. And or two and a half rotations. Now that it's like that, we need to set the motor C direction reverse. So let's get that block. Um, here it is. Set motor direction. Okay, let's change it to motor C and reverse. This will keep on making it change from left to right. And now we need to turn motor C off. We can't always have it turning around. So turn motor off. Let's change that to C. I know you heard me describing what the blocks do, but let me just give you a quick walkthrough of how these work. The first three blocks in the if statement basically move the rover until it sees an obstacle, which is where this code comes in. When it sees it, it will stop the rover. And then it will wait a while because it takes a while for the sensor to detect it. And then it will set it to zero, the flag. Since it's not set to one, it will execute the else part, which basically moves it away from the obstacle and goes in a different direction. And also the first three blocks makes it move forward. As this is an autonomous vehicle, it will keep doing this until we stop the program. Now here comes the fun part. We're going to test out the rover. I'm going to put some obstacles in front of it and we'll see it working. Also, I'm just going to rename this rover. Okay, let's begin testing it.
by its own. You can change the values of your rotation and speed in your code to see the differences. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Click on the bell icon to get notifications whenever I upload new videos. Thanks again. Bye.